What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Oregon versus Ohio State Week 7 college football matchup going down Saturday, October 12, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Oregon and Ohio State. It's one of the games of the week, if not the game of the week, as you've got uh, two top five teams going at it in this one from Autzen. As you've got Ohio State coming into this one, three and two against the number, but uh, five and zero oh this season after taking out Iowa thirty-five to seven. While Oregon comes in five and zero oh on the year, but just one and four against the number after a thirty-one to ten win over Michigan State in their last matchup. And now it's not often that. Uh, that Oregon is a home underdog. I think the last time they were, I believe you have to go back to 2008. Um, but this Oregon team is still rock solid. They have great quarterback play in Dylan Gabriel. You know, he's coming off a game where he went 20 of 32 for uh, 257 yards, two touchdowns and two picks. You'd like to see the, the interceptions get cleaned up if you're Oregon. Uh, but still, Gabriel has been a quarterback that's had plenty of big game experience and he's going to have it here against an Ohio State team that – statistically is the best defense in the country from a total yardage perspective and yards per play perspective. The third against the rush, fourth against the pass, but the strength of schedule is the problem for me with Ohio State. Iowa was the best team that they'll have played, and they played them last week. They beat them 35-7. But prior to that, road game against Michigan State. I was high on Michigan State coming into the year, but maybe I was just ahead of myself with that one. And prior to that, wins over Marshall, Western Michigan, Akron. Oregon, yeah, one and four against the number. And, you know, they only have a 10-point win against Idaho. But after that, they beat a really good Boise State team. They beat Oregon State, which is starting to look like a better win, the better that Oregon State is playing. And um, a win over UCLA, which really hasn't done much of anything either this season. So if you cancel out, you know, Michigan State, a, a mutual opponent, and Iowa, I do give the edge over compared to UCLA. But after that, I mean, still, like I said, Oregon State and Boise State, I would put ahead of, Marshall, Western Mission, Akron. So I, I give Oregon the edge for having the slightly tougher schedule. These Oregon, you know, receive uh, DBs are going to be challenged by this Ohio State passing game. You know, Will Howard. You know, he hasn't been the most effective in terms of big numbers from a passing yardage perspective, but the touchdowns have been there. This Ohio State offense is ninth nationally in total offense, uh, top fifteen in, in rushing, top twenty-five in passing. I think this game has track meet written all over it. I want to see, if I was going to back Oregon here, which was the direction I actually do lean, I want them at three and a half. At three, it's a dead number for me because I do feel that it is a field goal game, whichever way it goes. But I want to have the over 54 here if I can get it at, at this number because I think, actually, I don't even need it at this number. I can take it up to the, maybe 57. I think this is going to be a track meet. I think this is going to be a back and forth game up and down the field. Like I said, I lean towards Oregon if you can get it uh, at least a, uh, three and a half, four points. But for me, the over is a much stronger play here. I like what I've seen from Ohio State. But again, the thing that's holding me back with Ohio State is just the strength of schedule on the other side. They had had a couple more marquee wins. I would be on them like white on rice here, even at Outson. But I'm going to go with the over as my stronger play for this game. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.